When they die, they don't suddenly feel like, oh my goodness, I'm running out of air. It's just lights go black. They're alive and then they're gone. Free divers, a sport I actually don't recommend <laughs> because there's only one way out of that sport, as they say. Um, I have some friends who are free drivers and, and obviously you can do it safely with the right guide and training, etc. But it is a very dangerous sport because for most people, when carbon dioxide levels increase in the bloodstream and brain it triggers this gas reflex. What free divers train is carbon dioxide tolerance. So they do that a couple of different ways. And again, please don't do this because you actually, people have died doing this, which, so one way is you can do what's called cyclic hyperventilation, <sighs> right? You do that 25 times or so. And you think, oh, you're bringing a lot of oxygen. You are, but you're also offloading a lot of carbon dioxide, especially if you use forceful exhales. And then if you were to <gasps> hold your breath, what you would find is you could hold your breath for a lot longer. Why? Because your carbon dioxide levels are, are reduced. So you don't have the same impulse to breathe. Now on land, that's a more or less safe thing to do, provided that you can get a good gulp of air once the gas reflex hits. If you do that before going underwater, cyclic hyperventilation, they call it air packing, and then you go underwater, carbon dioxide is then lower, you're going to be able to stay under longer. But this is very dangerous because normally when that carbon dioxide threshold hits, you would pop up to the surface and you sort of panic and want to go to the top. Free divers learn to tolerate high levels of carbon dioxide in their bloodstream and stay very, very calm. The way they die is very interesting. They'll just be swimming, feeling completely calm because they're very used to, they've trained up the CO2 tolerance, carbon dioxide tolerance. And when they die, they don't suddenly feel like, oh my goodness, I'm running out of air. It's just lights go black. That's it, they're just blackout. And so they're alive and then they're gone. And so this is why they use spotters. They, you know, they have a line, etc. Anytime you hear about somebody uh, dying doing free diving, it's rarely because they weren't comfortable at a given depth. And this, you know, it's sort of like when you hear that um, skilled parachuters die. Why? Well, because they're so comfortable with so many jumps, they actually forget to pull. There's sometimes, there are many instances in which they're, they're uh, videoing the first time jumpers, right? And they're getting the video for them and they themselves forget to pull because they're so comfortable jumping out of planes. And so as people get more and more advanced in something, there's a there's a new risk that, that surfaces because unless it's very reflexive and they built all, all the protocols in, oftentimes they can overlook the very thing that allowed them to become expert in the first place.